two, and welcome everyone uh, to a reception of guests. Or guests, Ashton, Mahoney. Uh, any revisions to the agenda? Anyone? No. Uh, any public comments or correspondence that anyone would like to share? Okay. Uh, who would like to be the timekeeper? Could we <laughs> just appoint? Can we retroactively identify Caroline as the time to be for the year? Or if she enjoy the ritual of uh, sure. no, I thought, I thought we did that. You mentioned that. Oh, we did. Okay. okay. So, Caroline. Yes, I will. We can take so, we can off. take that we off. Take right? that off. And have that out. <laughs> so, I did get a public Save comment a at one point that that was someone's favorite item agenda. <laughs> Every month they look forward to a point timekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> they would show up and leave after that was done. <laughs> um, so um, let's uh, deal with the consent agenda and it's uh, approve the minutes for uh, February, uh, March 28, 2018. Do we have a motion? I will. I can get through. Sorry. I'll you. I move to. <laughs> okay, so we have a second. Any uh, comments on the minutes from March 28, 2018? No. Um, all in favor of approving the minutes for March 28, 2018? Aye. 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 Okay. Right. So we'll move on to our discussion agenda and it involves an uh, interview of uh, Allison. Mahoney? Is Mahoney? Mayony. Mayony. Yeah, yeah, it's the Where's Irish. Where's the E? Where's the E? The E is for Mahoney. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I have traveled to Ireland and it's the only place ever that I've been where people don't say Mahoney. They don't, you know, slaughter my oh. name. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we couldn't So there's the, the mayonnaise and the mahonies, <laughs> and, you know, I'll do my part to try to, e you know, educate the world, the rest of the world. Yeah. Well, welcome. Mayonnaise. Thank you for coming Thank out. Is it an interview open session or executive session? What's the session? sense of the board? Do you want to have an executive session for the interview? I think that's I'd yeah? Okay. So I think that's protocol, the, right? That's, you, that's what we've done in the past. Yeah. But. Okay, so that's it. And is there a motion to go into executive session? I'll move to go into executive Second. For purposes of personnel. All in yeah. favor? Second. Aye. 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 Okay. At, uh, when, at uh, 6 04. I make a motion to. approve the administrator's recommendation of Allison. Not Mahoney, what did she say? No. Mahoney? Mahoney. 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 Thank you. Mahoney. Allison Good. Mahoney as the Library Media Specialist Technology Integrationist position. Second. That was a well-worded motion. Thank you. It was tricky. <laughs> uh, any, any more discussion? Okay. Any, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. And then can we put as a future agenda item to discuss um, continuing with the practice of the board interviewing candidates. It sure. would be great to have that as a, a sure. discussion item. Okay. Um, okay. So next up is um, our uh, Denise and and Annie. Annie. Annie and Denise. Thank you very much. Um, oh, we'll, got it. What we do sense. is we'll go around and introduce ourselves. Okay. We have a, a names with uh, faces with the names now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Chris McVeigh. Allison Cornwall. Woden Teach Out. Mm -hmm. Caroline May. Brian Tony Carroll. Amy Tom. Bill Campbell. Denise Perry. Annie O'Shaughnessy. Great. Thank you for coming out. Mm -hmm. Um, so, how much do you know about us? A how lot. Much do you want to know. <laughs> You've been googling me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Saw that picture of you in college, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God there was no uh, none of that back then. Or, I would be here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not be around. Um, but yeah, first of all, I just want to do um, introduce ourselves. So I'm Annie O'Shaughnessy. I work half time at the Center for Technology in Essex. So I teach 11th, 12th, 10th, 11th, 12th graders. Um, 
and uh, getting a master's in mindfulness and then uh, tons of training in restorative justice um, has led me to being kind of pushed out into training schools and working with schools mostly. Um, but I've worked with conflict within schools between teachers and so forth. Um, so I do, I do a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm here out of um, empathy for you all and for what you're going through and just hoping that we can um, add some positive uh, movement towards where you're at. So any questions about my background? I know kind of trustworthiness is important to me. So any, anything you want to hear about who I am? Okay. You say you teach? Yep. Where about? I teach at Center for Technology and Essex, CTE. Okay. Is that part of a school? It's uh, housed in Essex High School, mm -hmm. but it's a separate high school, a tech school. So I teach English, um, so I don't teach the programs. Um, I teach English to kids who are taking automotive. and um, So it's awesome because I get to um, practice what I preach. So I train teachers, but then I'm like, yeah, and yesterday this didn't work at all. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, this work, of course, as you know, with human beings is not predictable or perfect. So I get a lot of lessons in humility um, versus kind of knowing the theory and bringing that to the world as a perfect little package. So lots of messiness. Yeah. Anything else? And I'm Denise Perry and I am a mediator. I'm a conflict coach. I'm a conflict teacher. I'm adjunct faculty at Tulane College. I am a consultant. Um, I have clients I actually uh, work with Ben and Jerry's. I, we do empathy and compassion training with, them, uh, with Ben and Jerry's. Um, I'm a mediator for the state of Vermont family court, so I do a lot with uh, disputing parents and helping parents build co-parenting plans. And uh, yeah, so I, I work a lot in conflict, and my passion is to help people who are touching kids um, figure out how to model good problem solving. So um, so that's a little bit about me. Any questions or about what I do? Or? Okay. It's the first time we've worked together, but we've discovered we have a ton in common, including um, I have a background in long, a long time organization. I was president of two nonprofits, and she's been in corporate, so also have that, like, things got to get done, there's procedures, got to be effective, um, versus kind of kumbaya land. <laughs> Let's all peace out, you know. Um, so it, although I have lived there, um, I've, been, I've been doing circles for 20 years for myself personally and around the country in three-day retreats for adults to, for them to kind of take stock of their lives. So um, we have, I think each of us has both of those elements of, um, because we, we notice that it's a holistic <laughs> process and it can't just be kind of effective, efficient, and neither can it be all kumbaya. No, and then I think that and it overlaps, you know, there's yeah, exactly. a lot of overlap, and uh, we both study and practice mindfulness and meditation, and I came at it through the science, uh, really through my teaching, and um, yeah, so I think it's all going to kind of come together today, and uh, we, we appreciate being asked to come in, leap of faith, a bit of a leap of faith, and uh, you came well recommended, yeah, there you go. <laughs> with multiple people, mm -hmm. yeah. and thank you personally, Woden, for uh, the help that you've given us in sort of navigating the situation. Uh, we Our first conversation with Woden was on Friday, right? Yeah, yeah. So we've, <laughs> we've tried to move really quickly and understand the situation and get to know you each a little bit. And uh, mm -hmm. so uh, and it, it hasn't been that long. So <laughs> mm -hmm. we'll be doing some learning tonight with you as well. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, one thing that's important to me and important to restorative practices is that um, we kind of step into a different space. So this is a board meeting space. Um, so I'm just going to do a little process um, that is borrowed from our sort of process that will just kind of shift us into a different space. Um, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It makes sense when we do it. Um, I first want to tell a little story because storytelling is about creating a different space. Um, It's so my belief no one wakes up in the morning, very few people wake up in the morning um, with the honor to-do list to hurt other people, um, to betray other people, or to cause conflict. But in our unconsciousness, a lack of awareness, we do. We bump into people figuratively and literally um, in our lives. And um, it takes a certain level of courage and kind of self-awareness to look at those places where we're not conscious and we're 
were hurting each other. Um, and the story that I have is when I was in college, I, um, a, a, a person I had kind of, I had a really great connection with her, and then all of a sudden she's like really mean to me and pushing me off. She's like, you're just so artificial. You're so fake. And for years, I just like, you're so wrong. And for years, I wondered, what is heck she talking about? And it just stuck with me, because I thought it was really real. I was able to like share with people right up, really, really right away and be very deep with them, and, and I thought I was really good at that. It wasn't until years later when someone who probably went to a nonviolent communication training <laughs> and was able to use I statements said, um, when I talked to you, it felt like we were really close. You shared a lot, I shared a lot. I've never actually shared like that with anyone before. Next time I saw you, you treated me like just another person. And in that moment, I realized my way of being with people, which is really open, to her was the first time ever. And by her saying, I just kind of felt betrayed when you didn't fall. I thought we were best friends after that conversation. To me, it was just another conversation, because that's how I, I talked. And so in that moment, by her saying, I felt betrayed by you not following up with that really intimate conversation, I was able to um, hear that. And that's exactly what that girl was trying to say when she said, you're artificial. But I couldn't hear anything about that because of this, right? But I could hear it when someone said, you've impacted me. I feel this way. So just trying to shift our minds around how we talk um, and how we kind of own I feel really does have more purpose than just um, kind of putting it out there. It, it opens other people's ears, and it shifts the, like, the, the conversation a lot. So as we go through this process, um, you know, calling chairs. Which chair am I in? in I'm in that blame chair. It's your fault. Am I in the blame myself chair? Oh, it's all my fault. Always my fault, which is a form of avoidance. Is it empathizing with myself? I feel really not really great right now. I don't feel trusted. Or am I empathizing with others? man, I can recognize how uncomfortable you are. So there's a four chairs we can sit in. And every time we're in a conversation, we can choose a chair. And if we're down here, and I blame, resolution is not going to happen from here. It just can't. I can't, can't come to resolution if, if I'm in this chair. So if I'm in this chair and I can't get out of it, which is the blame chair, I either got to figure out how to move over there to empathy, or I got to just say I can't be in this conversation. Because this does, resolution doesn't come from here. So those are my like strong beliefs around the restorative process, and that's why we do the restorative process is it allows people more easily to sit here because we get to hear people's, we get to be heard, and we get to hear, wow, I had no idea that affected you that way. You might not agree, but at least there's that human connection. So and this is, um, not to go on too long, but this is supported by neuroscience around neuroplasticity, openness to hearing things. They're really digging into this to see and you'll see it in um, so social science books. You can't change someone's mind with your mind. People don't, people don't vote based on their thoughts. They vote from their feelings. And they don't get convinced by your words. They get convinced and change their mind from here. And that's how it's why it's so tough. Because how do you create the conditions to be speaking from here? It's very hard. So what we do is we keep speaking from up here and thinking we can just convince the other person and it's, it's really a hard way to go. So restorative practices provides the structure and safety to create conditions in which people can actually sit here and be effective and change. So it's an effective place, not a kumbaya place. It's an effective, efficient place to get to real change. And I want to introduce that because that's the piece I bring. And I would bring that more to the, if we had a community event, I wanted to give you a little kind of psychological background around that because a lot of people do have kind of improper assumptions about what restorative practices are, that, that it's about sharing feelings and, and that makes people feel good. It's got a lot more to like getting the job done. We have to we have to go there. So any questions about that piece? Is that helpful to just kind of get that background? Because you may decide you don't want to go that route. I wanted to give you a piece of what I believe. All right. I have a question. Yes. Um, and it's kind of for the board. Mm -hmm. But when I'm hearing you talk about getting into a space that's a little outside of the board meeting, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if anybody else feels like it is maybe appropriate to do this section of the meeting off camera. Open meeting, still have minutes, have everybody here. But there's a piece where if we're trying to connect on an emotional level, 
but there is a technology piece and we're not connecting with everybody who's going to watch it and they're not in this space mm -hmm. does anybody feel that it would violate our commitment to our community to just have this part be not filmed um, I, I don't um, I think it's still open meeting folks and you can't you can't tell Orca to stop filming okay Okay. You can ask, but you can't tell. Okay. It's nothing. It's their choice. Their choice to be here. <laughs> oh, okay. Does anybody so disagree with us asking? And I would no. not put Sue in that place. So I think that's something you might want to ask. <laughs> for me, that's a question for Chris, who's the direct, uh, his director, but the person that runs Orca. And, and, just to uh, be, I just want to yeah. be clear that we are not going to enter into a restorative process now. Got it. But given it's a, it's a great question, given the the, the content of you know our conversations and, and what the subject is. Is that fair to say mm -hmm. that? That I just want to make clear we're not gonna I'm not okay. gonna yeah. do the whole process tonight. Okay. We're gonna just sample it by doing an opening circle mm -hmm. and just following a very, very Quick. uh safe, open, um low stakes. Low stakes. Uh, exercise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does anybody mind if I close the door? Oh, that, that would be great. great help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of us. Yeah. And I don't need to ask Orca's permission for this. <laughs> um, do you feel that you feel like your request was heard and? Um, well, like so do that? people want? Does the are there board members who want to request Orca to not film or that would rather not make that request? I'm happy to support the request. I would too. Thank well, you. I agree. Uh, I guess I'm. I'm thinking about what Bill's saying is that we don't want to put this person on the spot, yeah. and her boss, uh, unless she is a volunteer, I presume she is not. But if her boss were to be actually feel differently about this, so perhaps we could request that that part of the film be edited if he were. So we could make the exactly. request of him and ask him to edit out that part of the film. Does that I feel like agree a... agree with you, just because it's putting... It's putting Sue on the spot. She yeah. Deserve you, that. you don't want to put Sue yeah. in a bad spot. I can, yeah, I can do that. I'll, I'll just mark it. So Thank you very much. Great. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry, yeah, Good. Good. It's not too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I do want to talk to you quickly about finance, because I think you should... About finance? Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Okay. 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 So um, then let's move along and we'll... Talk about finances right okay, now. So, if you want to ch ch turn to page eight, I'm going to cut. There hasn't been any change since last month, but I really want to be clear with all of you. So, we just got a bill for 800 and whatever, 20. That's not reserved. Mm -hmm. uh, there's never an action by the board to reserve money. You talked about it, but uh, we we're going to do it. You didn't do an action. We, I swear we did one last we, year. You know, we, just, we, just, we discussed it in our meeting that, um, and we talked around what the money was. But I, I don't, it's a good question. I don't think we actually you know, made a motion to accept. I, I can't. really remember that we did. I may be misremembered. But that's a real, I, I will look that so up. So, anyway, on this report, whether it was or not an action, it's not in your financial. What page okay. are you on? Page I'm on page eight. eight. On page eight. Yeah. So what you will see here is that your total bottom line right now is seventy-two thousand nine hundred fifty-seven dollars. Mm -hmm. That's and it's only two point three percent of the budget. And I will tell you that even Doty, we don't go below seventy-five thousand because when something major comes up, we don't know, and it doesn't take much. We can go through that money. Um, we've been pretty good, so I'm getting to a point where I'm really nervous. Maybe really is the wrong word, but I'm nervous about the amount of money that we have left on balance. Do we have any other um, so anticipated you, expenditures coming up this yes, year? Yes, we may. Then that would come out of this? That I don't know about, yes. Because I don't, right now, we've got our insurances. We, we, don't, we haven't settled any of the insurance claim from what's going on right above With us. The roof. The roof. Yeah. We know that we have a $5,000 piece there that the first 5,000 is ours and that's not expressed in this fund balance right now Okay. Um, sure. because we have an open claim we haven't finished with it in the insurance company there's a lot of moving pieces with that that doesn't mean that's only all of your money but that is your money in your general fund balance 
you have money in other capital reserves, other reserves on page nine, such as capital reserve. That's money that you have. I don't think it's it's not the there would be things you'd want to discuss as a board about whether it's politically wise to move money. You have the ability to move money out of those funds back to your general fund balance. Mm -hmm. And we have done that or gave authorization for that but in the past. You're right. I, I'm not advising it. I'm right. Just, no, but I don't actually remember us moving from a, a restricted restricted fund back to the general fund. Maybe you have and I'm forgetting. I could be forgetting. We, author no, we authorized it, but we didn't need to end up using it last year around oh, hiring, some hiring. Right. So we, th th thank you, Brian. That's what it was about. Thank you. I totally forgot. Um, so that's, you'll see there's 157000 right now in your capital fund. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure that you're all clear about where your money is. I'm not trying to direct you in one way or another, but just knowing where your money is and knowing where, what I, how I feel about that. I want you to know that. Um, the rest of them are, are small little funds in there. Um, and food service right now is, is doing okay. Um, the student, and the student activities are all the different little accounts that we have within the building for, from drama. So we, with the 157,000 in the capital fund, yep. what we're going to put another 60 in it. This you're going to put July another 1? 90 in it in July one. July one. Okay. Right. But what and what are our anticipated so, so right now? Just the, the summer? boiler, just the boiler yep. project that's being engineered right now yep. is 65,000 for that construction okay. project. We're also doing some roofs. Yep. Bids are coming in on the 20th of April. Okay. We're out bidding right now. So what, 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 just I think I don't ballpark. remember, Chris. I, okay. I just don't even That's remember. Fine. I hate to even ballpark because I could be off by twenty or thirty thousand. I just don't have that figure in my head. Okay. No, I wish I did. I didn't. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm, I think I'm with Brian. I, I would not recommend moving because I think we ought to keep things some things that we commit to the community that we're not going and, and, and not move capital money because that's not for. The uh, form is not the purpose for that, I think. And that's a, I mean, that's... Yeah, it's a board, that's board, a board, soon, board yeah. responsibility. What do we know cost of mold remediation? So right now we're in an insurance claim. Okay. So it's, we have, we're, our insurance company's got a claim, that we've had a claim open since the roof was leaking in January, February. Um, the insurance company's got, they've got soup to nuts right now. I mean, they've got our warranties, our contracts with our, with Wright and Morrissey when it was done. We're waiting, you know, and they're still kind of waiting to see what the person who owns the warrant, the company Mule High that owns the warranty on the roof, what they do, and then if we get a bill from them or not. And then we also have, we know we're getting a bill from, which will go to our insurance company for the mold re remediation from Crothers Environmental. Is that covered by insurance? Well, that's what I'm saying. We have yeah. insurance claim right now, and um, we'll don't know the ending, ending part of that. I believe that the mold remediation will be covered by our insurance um, because they insure against that, you know, right. losses in the building. Yeah. And that's a loss in the building. And then I'm sorry, I'm just tired, so I might have yeah. yeah, yeah. my words. You're fine. No, no, you're right. And then does the insurance company get to choose who does the removal, or you can send them a bill and get reimbursed? Where we send them the bill. They, they knew it was immediate. It's one of those things of like as soon as Amy, as soon as we got the report back from Chris, I literally texted Michelle. She called Linda, our adjuster. They put it on. I said I'm going to get somebody, and they're like, "Go just." You know. yeah. And we've been in these types of situations before, so it's not much of a conversation. Because mm -hmm. in the, you know my six years here, I've been down something before. Like just choose it, and we'll get we'll figure out the finance on the other side of it. Okay. They're very Liberty Mutual is very good to us, and mm -hmm. you know understanding that. You need school tomorrow, so yeah. get it open. Do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Amy did a great job of communicating that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a team effort. So, um, so that's what I know right now today. So okay. I think you should just be advised of that. Okay. Um, so it sounds like we may need a motion to get this bill paid. If there's no money to pay. This? Yeah. Um, no, I don't need a motion from the board to pay a bill. And we already, the one in his hand from yeah. tonight? No, no we already approved that in June. 
I think I'm saying, saying no. I'm saying I don't, I don't have it, but I don't need you to uh, approve a single bill. I don't need a board to do that. I can do okay. that from within the budget. What I'm saying to you is that um, it was never um, actually there wasn't money for money the, set aside for that work. And I don't, and I'm not sure if we actually did an action item. It did. Board, I don't so, so we can we can relook it so that everybody's on the same page. But uh, I'm pretty confident that the way we phrase the the wording was around the that we approved to spend up to and I think it was fifteen hundred on the planning and implementation of the community. We didn't call it form that night, but whatever we called it. And I I would think this that was everything they did was around planning. Karen, what I'm saying whether that was done or not, it wasn't reserved in the financials. So whether or not the motion was there. We pay it. Yes, we can pay an individual fee, but even but you're not you're saying we didn't. It's, it's have not money set aside. It's not from. set aside. Yeah, I can figure that out in the budget. Got I don't it. need the board to do that work. I can figure out how to pay a bill. That that we can do. <laughs> what I'm just telling you is. Can you change your light bulb too, Bill? <laughs> what? Can you change your light bulb too? Yeah, uh, no, I find somebody to do that one. <laughs> um, but when you look at the literally the seventy-two thousand nine hundred fifty-seven dollars. Yes. That doesn't include fifteen hundred dollars set aside for this. Mm. So I've got to say, hey, Lori, pay this, and it's going to come out of the fund balance right, right now. Got so I, I just want you to be aware of what your bottom line is. Got it. Way of putting stuff. But when you mentioned um, going below seventy-five made you nervous. Yes. You take into account the time of year. Yep. And it still makes you. Nervous. I just we just took it on. Thousand dollar kid in another school. Take it a what? A hundred thousand dollars child. What does that mean? It, it means the cost of education. Education. The education. Exactly. The program was hundred thousand dollars. Is this your ADM year? Where I'm that shared amongst? No. Is that next July year? July one. July one. Okay. Um. Uh, so uh, next. Are we done? Are we done talking with this? Because our next um, board action will be to uh, accept the designation um, of Tara for Kareem, our music teacher. I move that we accept the resignation of Kara, our music teacher. Um, Kareem. Is there a second? Second. Mm -hmm. We should thank you for her um, delight in bringing music to our school and our students. Uh, and just, just can I add a, a nice phrase that I think she deserves to have? What can I can give you a nice yeah, phrase? Yeah, increasing the rigor and enjoyment for students, increase and increasing the rigor and enjoyment, enjoyment for students. Uh, and which really showed up in the music program. That I was astounded at some of the music I was hearing from our students, it was excellent. And we wish you the best overseas. Um, we have a vote? Um, let's check. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks. Uh, any business that we need to attend to? Or can we adjourn? Adjourn. Let's move. Okay. Thank you.